Hello, social media. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. So, hello, everybody. Welcome to Lakita T. Sharp's famous, exclusive, inspirational channel. I am so happy that you have decided to join me on today. So, I welcome you. If you knew what I had to go through in order to get these videos out, you would be amazed. <laughs> but anyway, I am here and I am ready to work. So let's go. Check out all of my books over at Amazon.com. There are over 100 books for you to choose from. So check out my books over at Amazon.com. And head over to my website for additional inspiration. And if you want me to coach you during this hour, feel free to reach out to me. And if you want to donate to the ministry and sow a seed um, to the Lord or to the ministry, feel free to donate to the ministry. So, all right. So, let us go. Let us go. I hope you guys are doing well and staying cool because it's warm outside. So be safe, okay? All right, let's go with today's message. Your sinful nature is fighting with your holy nature, your holy self. So... In the Bible, in Romans 6, I believe, Apostle Paul talks about how, you know, he is at war with himself because his body wants to sin, you know, and his mind is with God. His mind is all about God's law and being with God. But his body is like so sinful, right? And, um, you know, he said, I came to the conclusion, you know, um, he was talking about where it's like, whenever I want to do good, then there's evil present. Whenever I want to do good, then there's evil present. So he was like, you know, how in the world can I win? How in the world can I um, be able to get through this? You know, because I have two war, wars going against me. It is my sinful nature and it is my, what? My godly nature, right? So um, he was saying how you will make it is God himself will help you get through so whatever you are going through whatever you are dealing with and if you feel like you are going back and forth with yourself um you know um because your body wants to sin and your body wants to do whatever it wants to do but you know when we give our lives to christ when we give our lives to jesus we are not in the you know, he doesn't judge us the way he judged the world. You know, you are in in God's law now. You are covered with grace. You know, Jesus died for yourself, your sinful self and your the nature that you have. You know, when he died on the cross for the world, he took upon himself your sins, you know. And a lot of times... You know, um, when we sin as Christians, you know, the closer you are friends with God and the more and more you become friends with God, you feel very, you feel bad. You feel bad about sinning. You know, when you're in the world, you could care less about how God feels about you when you sin. But the closer and closer you walk with God, it is hard to feel good about the bad you have done, you know, um, and then the thing is that the enemy, he always want us to feel bad and guilty and condemned, you know, when we do, when we do sin, you know, and 
you know, God wants us to be like, look, you know, you are no longer underneath the law. You know, I, you are forgive through, through Jesus. You know, it is already done. You know, I know you're going to fall. You know, I chose you away. I chose you way before time. And I, I knew you were going to do, make the mistakes that you were going to make. I remember, you know, one time I sinned and I felt so dirty. I felt so unclean. I felt so just like, and it, it, it was a day that, you know, I didn't take a shower and, you know, I was laying in bed and I just, it was a day I just wanted to just have a day just to do nothing. And I just felt unclean, you know, for so many different reasons. And, you know, my mind told me, you know, get up and take a shower, go you know, clean yourself off, you know, wash your hands, wash your body, wash your everything about, you know, wash yourself. And the moment I jump into that water, the moment I cleanse all of that dirt off of me and I felt so holy and clean and righteous and felt pure and good. Literally, my thoughts were you are walking on holy ground. You are good to go, you know, and I felt really, really good, you know. So sometimes, you know, and, and, the, and, and at the time, you know, the enemy was making me feel bad, you know, thoughts coming in my mind and making me feel, you know, um, things like I warned you. I, you know, constantly, you know, I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry, God, I'm saying I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, God. And, you know, apologizing, you know, I did a video is, you know, stop apologizing. It's okay. It's all good. It's good. You know, you are forgiven. And sometimes we can constantly blame ourselves when we sin over and over again, you know, and we make mistakes, but we got to realize it's part of our nature when we sin, you know, it's part of our nature when we fall down. It's part of our nature to have weaknesses. It's part of our nature. You know, we have a sinful nature. You know, you can read Romans 6 and it speaks about it. You know, it's part of our nature. You know, and then you have, um, you know, your godly self that wants to, to obey God and wants to do what's right and you know but your body wants to do everything you know everything you know so it, it, it is definitely a war that goes on with us constantly you know back and forth with your with your 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 mind and your spirit and your body you know so sometimes you may feel you know like my God you know I am just keep on one one with myself you know, you're at war with yourself, you know, so I want you guys to bring, drink your water It's very healthy. This is water and fresh fruit. Drink your water is very healthy for you. Very, very healthy for you. And it's very pure, holy. <laughs> mm. But anyway, I want you guys to know that it's okay, you know, you are not alone with this issue. You are not alone to feel bad and to feel guilty, but that is, you know, what the enemy want you to feel. And God is saying you are free. You are free. You are under God's grace, you know. You know, how many of times are you going to keep blaming yourself and feeling bad about yourself? You know, you, you know, some of you are, you're, you're living in, you know, pity, you know, you're living in self pity, you're living in, you know, you feel unworthy, you feel, you know, um, dirty, you feel not clean, you know, you feel like God is not accepting you and no, 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 no. You know, when you give your life to God and you, God is waiting for you. If you want to give your life to him right now. You just, if you believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God and that he died on the cross for your sins. If you say and confess out of your mouth, you are saved 
and God will make his home with you in your heart. I believe that Jesus is the son of God, the only begotten son of God, and that he died on the cross for my sins so, so that I shall have everlasting life and live in heaven with my father, with the father. If you confess what I just said, you are saved. So, um, yeah, so no, God accepts you. God accepts you and God forgives you. God loves you. You know, God is always renewing your holiness and renewing you and cleansing you. He's constantly, we are constantly being cleansed. You know, when we sin as um, Christians, you know, God is constantly, constantly, you know, cleansing us and making us holy and making us right with him. And I got to say something. This is very important. Because when we sin, when we sin, we want to move away from God. When we sin, we want to move away from God. And God want us to move, um, God want us to move close to him. You hear what I'm saying? You know, when we, when we uh sin we want to move away from God okay but God want us to move closer to him okay closer to him don't allow your sin to to stop you from communicating with God communicate with him through it talk to him about it you know God is a, a our friend you know, God is our friend. You can, he's a good father. And when you come to God, he will hear you and listen to him, especially if you are coming to him in truth. Okay. If you coming to him in truth, father, you know, I have a weakness. I sin. I'm trying God, but sometimes it's hard for me. Sometimes I can't help it. God I can't help it. God knows that. God knows this about you. It's almost as if you are trying to stop a cat from licking itself. You know, a cat will sit there all day long and just lick themselves all over their body all day and just licking themselves. <laughs> they will just lick themselves. Shout out to my cat, Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. Hey. So anyway, um, you know, so I'm just like, I'm just like, this is what I'm like. Like, you know, um, it's like us trying to stop a cat from licking themselves, but God made them like that to lick themselves. There's been many of times I would tell my cat, please stop it. Please stop licking yourself like that. You just sitting there just licking yourself. And I'm like, oh God, she's that's what she does. That's who she is. That's her nature. So sin, we are sinful people. And, and through God's grace, he has saved us, you know, so that we can be made right with him. You know, it's part of our nature. So God understands. And the enemy just wants us to feel bad about ourselves. This is what the enemy wants. He wants us to feel bad about ourselves. He wants us to stop the communication with God. If he can stop the communication, he 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 won. You know, he has won because he stopped you from communicating to God. You know, so no, I want you to grow. Uh, the, if you sin, I want you to grow and, and com, com, commune with God. The, the more you sin, the closer you become to God. Okay? You. All right, well, I got to go. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We make a lot of mistakes. But we are the chosen. We are the chosen ones. I will see you in the next video. Blessings.